Legacy One. Legacy One. Do you copy? This is C Legacy One. Hi, Christina. It's Andy. I'm on shore. Welcome to Baja. I'm gonna send Nicklin to come and get you. Hey, Paul. Pack and light. <laughs> yeah. it feels great joining the C Legacy team here in Baja. Good to see you, man. Great to see you, man. Thanks for coming. They've already been here filming natural history, wildlife, and I'm here to tell the other aspects of the story. The Biosphere Reserve is a proposed marine protection plan in Baja Sur. It's meant to regulate and push out industrial fishing fleets, and it's meant to benefit artisanal fishing communities. Mario is just beginning to propose the idea. It's not created yet, so the fight is just beginning. powerful storytelling and journalism. I think that that's going to get the world to care. We show the fishermen, because they're part of the story now. I think that the fishermen and the people that have the most to gain or the most to lose in these stories yeah. are underrepresented. So true. The success of something like this, it comes down to the handful of leaders in each community. You have two levels of fishing. You've got the big industrial commercial fishing. You've got the small artisanal fisheries. One is wiping out the opportunity for the other. Mario Gomez, he is perhaps the most connected man in all of Baja when it comes to ocean conservation work. We had a meeting with some of the people from the fishing community, the artisanal fishermen. They were making a lot of complaints against the creation of the reserve because they are going to be affected. The idea is, is wrong. There's a lot of misinformation. They have no trust for anyone. There's a, like a karma amongst them. They don't even know what it's underneath the ocean. So it's very difficult to ask them to start working together to ask for the benefit of the doubt. Too often, you know, there's a, there's a good guy and a bad guy. And the fishermen have been the bad guy for, for too long. To touch the heart of the fishing communities, yeah. that's the real trick. How important is it for us to like start filming the communities, all the stakeholders telling their stories? If we don't do that, for sure this will not succeed. What I hope to accomplish here is to paint a broad picture of the story, give voices to all the community members here that would be affected and benefit from a biosphere reserve. Mi nombre es Francisco Lucero y vivo en Aguamarga y soy pescador. Tengo prácticamente 30 años dedicándome a la pesca. Tengo 47 años. Es lo que hacemos, lo que nos enseñaron nuestros padres. Simple y sencillamente es nuestro trabajo, nuestra forma de vivir. No es un negocio grande. Simple y sencillamente es para nuestra familia y para sacar para vivir. El mar es mi vida, es mi casa, es mi oficina, mi trabajo. Primero por diversión, luego por aprender y ahora porque lo disfruto es parte de mi vida. Cuando no estoy en él, empiezo a buscar la manera de ir allá. Y hemos dependido del mar para poder salir adelante, para alimentarnos, para sacar a nuestras familias adelante. Cuando en la época de mi, de mi papá, en la época de mi abuelo, había mucho más de todo. Ahora pues ya ves cómo está todo. Y pues cada día hay más barco y pues también hay más pescador. We can see how fragile the ecosystem is. It's not the same and it's a big, big change, hard situation. Años atrás, la diversidad en las especies, la pesca que nosotros hacíamos era en grandes volúmenes, había mucha, mucho que pescar. Tiempo actual y vemos que desgraciadamente las especies han disminuido el número, pero también sabemos que no es el pescador artesanal. Life of the fishermen, it's brutal. It's a tough life, man. They're out here every day. Water's 13 degrees Celsius, it's freezing cold. 
And these guys go down on hookah lines for like three or four hours at a time. But, you know, it's also beautiful. And they seem really happy. That's the life. That's the life. Tenemos un gran problema aquí, que es la pesca industrial, que realmente depredan nuestra zona, o sea, no respetan tallas, no respetan especies, este, no respetan volúmenes. The clams, the fish, shrimp ecosystem is not the same. And now we have a hard time to keep our boats, our equipment in good condition. And we are not making enough, you know? There's big industrial fishing fleets that come in the Gulf of California. And the fishermen have told me they can take as much fish in one night as these communities fish in an entire year of fishing. It's unsustainable. And it's starting to hurt the economy. If we can work with the local artisanal fishermen and protect wildlife and nature, this entire area, through their needs, through their future, of survival, then we really have a chance to protect all of Baja.